Now take a look at this, a daring escape. You see right there, a Pinellas County jail inmate made a run for it, but fortunately, he was captured within minutes. Yeah, but tonight, Eight on Your Side is asking the Pinellas County Sheriff what went wrong here. Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us now live from Pinellas County Jail with more on the story. Christine. The sheriff is calling this a perfect storm. He says that the inmate scaled a wall just around this corner in 26 seconds before running into this wooded area. It is troubling and it's concerning. Look at this. Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri says this is the moment 10 a.m. Wednesday when 25 year old inmate Cody John Drow scaled the recreation yard wall using the door handle, awning, and his shirt to hoist himself up, then climbing two fences with razor blade wires, ultimately breaking free from Pinellas County's maximum security jail. 26 seconds from the time his feet left the ground until the time he hit the roof. Deputies say during this 11-foot leap, he broke his heel. In the process, he also got tasered in the chin and got these gashes on his back and arms, needing 80 stitches. This is John Drow's escape trail. Sheriff Gualtieri says the public was never in danger as the escapee was in sight of deputies the whole time and captured in the back of a neighboring golf cart business within 10 minutes. I work right here and I live five minutes from here, so it's a little... Uh... Nerve-wracking. Colton Sheasley is nervous to learn John Drow's been on the run from Ohio authorities for nine months, where he's accused of murdering his nine-week-old son. Why is he at this place? <laughs> I feel like he should be somewhere different than the Pin Pinellas County Jail. John Drow's only been at the Pinellas Jail two weeks, transferred from the Polk County Jail, where deputies found him at a house in Davenport. Sheriff Gualtieri says John Drow was set to be transported to Ohio next week, but instead wanted to take an Uber to Panama, so when he saw the guard turn to make a call, he took his opportunity. This is what we need to look at and see if there's anything that could have been done differently. Um, and I don't know at this point. Is there anything glaring here? Um, no, but it's concerning. You know, it is absolutely concerning. And the sheriff says they do believe he was acting on his own. He's set to be transported back to Ohio within the coming days, and the sheriff says it can't be soon enough. Yeah, this is pretty frightening. Have there been other incidents like this one in the past? The sheriff says none quite like this in the past couple of decades, but there have been some other inmate issues. More on that coming up live at 5. All right, Christine McClarty live for us at the Pinellas County Jail. Thanks for that.